So guys, Java Hero, I'm here with Jim, and uh, we're here gonna open up the new uh, MakerBot uh, Replicator Plus we just got uh, in the mail. And so really excited about it, and you know, we're gonna you know, start doing some test prints today, hopefully, and uh, kinda give us our opinion of what we think, okay? All right, let's do it, yeah. All right, so this is the box that came in. Ooh, ah. Oh, shit. Oh, damn, okay. All right, so what's this? Uh, I think this has the filament and some of the extra pieces in here. All right, yep, yeah, this is the filament spool. Uh, it comes with one. We have a smart extruder in here. And so that's able to just attach real easy um, by magnet. And, all right, I guess we got some power cords here. So, all right, let's see what else. Oh, over here we got the startup guide. Tells us how to install everything. Looks like it's pretty simple. Looks like just uh, six main steps. And uh, what's cool about this is you can actually connect it with your phone and um, I heard there's even a camera on this where you can view it while you're away and see the progress. All right, smart extruder. Okay, yeah, this talks about the smart extruder, and yeah, we'll get into that later. All right, let's get to the main event. Oh my god, that is massive. Holy crap. Okay. Do you want to take it all at... You want to take it all in one and see if Just get the blocks out. Yeah. All right. Okay. Is that how heavy? Is that pretty heavy? It's not that bad. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and let's put it on the floor for a second. All right. Would you say that's pretty heavy? Maybe like 30, 40 pounds. I don't know. All right. That's that's the size of my foot. <laughs> I right, compare that to this. My foot's about I don't know, whatever. Alright. Let's open it up. Let's do it. Let's rip it. Okay. Do the honors. Very nice. I like how it's looking. Boom! Boom, baby! Kabooya! <laughs> right. Let's get the power cord first. Alright. Let me do a couple little oohs and ahs. So the things that I hear about this is that it is very user friendly, very easy to set up, and you can start prints within about 20-30 minutes. So let's see uh, if that's true. So it says um, don't plug in the power until these steps. Okay. So where are we right now? Alright, we already unboxed it. We finished that one. So first thing we need to do is remove the clips and belt and the rod and then remove the foam, I'm assuming it's this foam and any other tape that's still here. So okay, let's go ahead and try it. Right, let's see. Okay, yeah, they're talking about this, this, I think there's, yep, there's one over here too. Mm -hmm. And this foam over here, let's go ahead and remove that. Okay, cool. One and two. Three. Simple, simple. And nice and cool. Nice and smooth. The way I like. All right, so it's just these four items right here. 
And all I saw was just a couple pieces of tape there, so I think we're good. This is pretty cool. If you look right over here, you can see that there is uh, an actual camera right there for a video feed while it's on and while it's actually doing the prints. So you can look on your phone when you're using the app, which I'll show you guys later, and you can see how the print's going. All right, so let's see, what's the next step? All right, so we finished two right here, removing all the clips and the tape, and now we're gonna put the filament in there. So we're gonna lift the drawer and install the filament. Let's see. That one? Okay. All right, so it comes with a cool gray color um, filaments. Now, this is PLA, but it doesn't, I, I heard this can actually work with both um, PLA and I think it's, it's called hard PLA. Um, it's a little bit more of a sturdy material, um, but I don't know too much about it. So we'll try this out and then uh, we'll get to that later on. This is um, almost one kilogram, it's uh, two pounds of filament. So I'm not sure if this is considered the large or the small spool, but um, I believe this needs to go counterclockwise. So let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna put that in here. So I just kind of snap that in there. So, I'll feed it. Oh, okay. So I think it's this red um, area right here. I think there's a hole, and that's where the filament goes. Mm -hmm. yep. So, let me go ahead and bring that back over here. Okay. Let me put it back out. That's one annoying thing that can happen with the filament is that it just springs out like a slinky. Alright. You know. Thanks. Here, give yourself more slack. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then eventually, yep, it's just gonna start rotating easily and you'll start to see it. If you can see right now, uh, we've passed it far enough and it's starting to move its way towards the end of this tubing. And it's eventually gonna be coming out. I see it. So you wanna keep pushing it out until you see a little bit of that coming out of the end there, because this is what we're gonna be feeding into the extruder. Oh yeah, all right, so that looks good. That's enough for now. All right. All right, so I guess we can go ahead and close it. Plug in the power. Plug in the power. Alright, let's see where the power flows, right? There. Okay. Alright, there's two cords that comes with. Uh, one of them is a USB based. I'm assuming this is to plug it into a computer if you're gonna go and send a file or anything from your computer to print to this printer. There's also um, just the main power cord. And if you look over here, another method of uh, transferring some files is that you can connect via USB and print directly from there. And I'm assuming uh, you can control what gets printed and see all the files through the LCD screen. So. this baby up. Let's do it. Uh oh. Oh, we got some flashing lights? Okay. 
All right. So I think that this is gonna probably take a couple minutes. Yep, okay, so starting up, please wait. This will take a few minutes. Essentially from here, we're just gonna be following the instructions on here. All right, so. So we're done with everything on that, right? Yeah. Is that what you're looking at? Yeah. Okay. It says, so, all right, so this is the main dial right here, and this is what we're gonna be using to um, select different files or um, scroll through menus or anything like that. And it's also, um, uh, you can push it down to select. So it's saying, use the dial, navigate and select. It's just doing an intro at the moment. So press the dial to continue. All right, use the top button to go back and use the bottom button to go to the main menu. Continue. All right, so now it's telling you to go ahead and download the um, phone app. And uh, it's pretty it's pretty simple. All you have to do is uh, go to this website, makerbot.com slash get started, or just go straight to um, the uh, MakerBot um, app on either Google or the, what's it called, the Apple? I don't know. Yeah. I don't use Apple, so whatever. App Store. App Store. Just say App Store. Okay. Um, and then, yeah, go ahead and download the MakerBot app and uh, get started. You probably have to sign up, make the username and all that fun stuff, so. All right, so when you go to, um, makerbot.com forward slash get started. This is what comes up. And depending on what type of phone you have, just go ahead and click uh, either Google Play or App Store and go ahead and download the app and it will tell you the instructions. Uh, some of it will be repeat, so some of it you already been done. And uh, the other stuff will just continue on after that. All right, so uh, after you make your username, um, go ahead and type it in. It should uh, go ahead and save all your information after the first time. So I'm gonna go ahead and type it all in real quick. All right, so the next thing that comes up is you wanna go ahead and add a printer. Uh, that's the first screen that comes up, so go and click that. Set up a new printer. And just make sure uh, before you get all this stuff started, um, go ahead and click forward because uh, you already downloaded the app, so the app is ready. So now it's loading. So the next thing you want to do is pair your phone up with the um, printer. And so you want to select the correct printer, and so it's at the very top, Replicator Plus. So yeah, it tells you some of the stuff that we've kind of already done, uh, removing the little tabs, all the foam and all that stuff. So we can go ahead and say printer is on and it's already plugged in. Now activate the printer's hotspot from the printer panel to pair the phone. So let me see. All right, so eventually this is what's gonna come up over here. So I believe we'll just... Yeah, I think, uh, so it says ready to pair, so we'll just see what happens. We'll click on this. And I have my Bluetooth on just in case. Okay, so it's turning on its own hotspot. That's what it's saying, okay. It's good, okay. So now it wants us to connect the phone. So MakerBot setup, 6195, okay. All right, so next you're gonna click so activate the printer's hotspots from the printer panel to pair your phone. Um, That's good, so you just tap it on. Yep, so we'll go ahead and press continue setup. Once the printer's hotspot has been activated, press the connect to printer button below. So we're gonna do that and hope for the best. Okay, so it says my Wi-Fi is disabled, so let me go ahead and enable it. So that's turning on. So it's enabling the Wi-Fi now. All right, so let me try that again. I'm gonna to connect to the printer. 
So my MakerBot 2 access the device location, I don't know why, but I'm just going to allow this for this, I guess. Alright, so now it's finding printer. There's no MakerBot printers are found, so make sure your printer's hotspot is active. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so yeah, I, I, I'm pretty sure what's going on here is um, you need to disconnect from your own Wi-Fi from home and connect to the hotspot by going into settings and it says connect phone to MB setup 6195. That's what it's saying. So that was my mistake. So you want to go ahead and go to settings. All right, you want to go to connections. Okay, so click different Wi-Fi's. Here we go. So we have the MB setup six one nine five. That's exactly what we wanted. So we'll click that. Okay. We're gonna connect. All right, now we're connecting. Checking the quality of internet connection. All right, it says connected. So I'm gonna redo that. So set up a new printer, the replicator plus. Printer is on. Okay, continue setup. 